over estimating half-life computations. Uh, so first we'll kind of go over the general equation for half-life and then we'll kind of get into actually estimating it. And so we have a problem here. We have the half-life of carbon is 5,730 years. So what percentage of the carbon is left if the original carbon has been present for 35,000 years? So our general, general equation for this is, let's just use the variable a. So a is equal to a, uh, a naught uh, multiplied by one half to the t over h. And so let's go ahead and define these variables. a is really just the uh, remaining carbon. a naught is our uh, original carbon, our initial amount of carbon. And then T is the uh, time that has passed. And we know H, uh, H will be our half-life. Okay. Um, another way to think about this is to uh, determine how many half-lives have come through. So let's say if we have A is equal to A naught and B multiplied by one half to, let's use the variable x, and so x would be the number of half-lives. Um, and so there's basically those two different ways that you can use calculate. It's essentially the same thing. Um, so if we kind of wrote out what we had, we know that we have a equals, uh, you know, that multiplied by one half, and we have the 35,000 years over 5,730 years. And now when you look at this, um, we don't really know an um, initial amount or, you know, an ending amount that we have, but we just want to find the percentage that's left. So if you look at A over A0, that should actually be your percentage that is left. Now, you also might not be able to Let's say you don't have a calculator and you just want to quickly, quickly estimate this. Uh, one way to do that is to just kind of look at it. We'll first try to simplify this 35,000 over 5,730. Um, and when you look at that, it's roughly, it's obviously less than 7, less than 7 because 35,000 divided by 5,000 is 7. Uh, but we also know that it should be uh, it should be greater than five um, for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to estimate that number to be about six. And so what that means is that we have about that, and that's an estimation, of course. Um, so I'll go ahead and write that. That's our estimate. Um, so if that's our estimate, we know that we go through six half-lives. So really what a half-life means is, let's say we'll start off with 100%. We'll go through one half-life. And then we'll be at 50%. We'll go through a second half-life. We'll be at 25%. If you go through a third half-life, you'll be at 12.5%. And then if you go through a fourth half-life, you should be at 6.25%. If you go through a fifth half-life, you should be at 3.125%. And if you go through a sixth half-life, then you come down to 1.5625%. So since we're about um, since we're about six half lives here, we can say that we have about 1.5 percent of the original carbon left. And so that kind of gives you a rough estimate. Um, now, if we were to actually go ahead and do this all out, 
if we had the 35,000 over 5,730, we'd actually get a percentage to be about 1.45%. So as you can see, uh, doing the actual and doing, um, you know, actually just estimating it, we get very similar answers. And this has been a lesson over estimating half-life computations.